Hello guys, in today's episode, I want to introduce to you new Formal Connect or BIMTRAC. Um, this is a good communication tool between GC, subs, and the design team. It's a plugin. You can install it on Navisworks, AutoCAD, Revit, uh, Civil 3D, Tecla, and much more. And the good thing about it is you can send all the clashes from Navis uh, to uh, BIMTRAC or New Format Connect, and New Format Connect distribute that. You can assign it to the individuals. You can add attachment to it, such as specifications, sketches, drawing, and whatnot. And you can kind of communicate one by one. Great communication for the detailers to resolve the clashes. And ultimately with the whole team. So if you get everybody committed to use it, it's a great tool on the job uh, to use because it's gonna basically give you uh, a number of clashes, a report, like a health of your project, how it's gonna look like, how many clashes you have, uh, how they are open, are they closed, uh, how many you have open per what trade. So it's gonna give you a good uh, graphs and uh, a good numbers basically on the whole health of the project that you are coordinating. Without further ado, uh, let's start looking into this great plugin to see how we can leverage it on our projects. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at a very good plugin. So this is a great communication tool uh, between the parties, subcontractors, GC, or even the design team. This is going to be a hub that you can install. Uh, you can use the web app. And also you can use the plugin in your Navis work or Revit. It's going to help you get to a clash real quick. It's going to help you communicate clearly with the team, assign the clashes, follow up, create a history, add attachment and much more. So in general, to me, this is one of the best communication tool that is out there. Um, it's called New Forma Connect. It used to be called BIMTRAC, but right now uh, it's under the new management and it's called New Forma Connect. So this is their side. If you come to the products, they have three type of products. This is the one that we want to talk about. This we want to talk about New Forma Connect. It's going to talk about the coordination and then the, all the other equipment that they're going to down. And also they have the packages down there. So if you are more interested, I would um, recommend to just go to their uh, website, www.newforma.com dot com uh, you can kind of go to these cloud-based new format connect information management hub and you'll be able to read they have a, a really good videos explanation exactly what it is what is provided and how he's going to help you what and we're going to go through it right now and kind of show you how the installation and everything is going to work out so just keep in mind communication tool you can also apply a free trial and also you can request a demo so you can request the demo to see if this works for your company or the workflow that you have and um, if yes then you can kind of use the free trial just pilot it on your project and then just go from there so this is what it looks like when you basically get into a web a browser or web editor that they have and this is basically is going to help you manage your project uh, install the add-ins and then also do the user management so you can see right here uh, in the hub menu you have a user management you have the hub settings it's going to tell you the subscription uh, if you create a project template if you have in your company you can use that and apply it for every single project so you have the standards uh, for the management uh, user management you basically there's the big hub that you add everybody to that hub and then you can assign it to a specific project um, so this is basically really easy. You go over there, add a person, and then select the project, and the person is going to be added to the project to be uh, able to use 
all the uh, tools that is available uh, for this software. Um, so just right here, I want to start from the integration. Um, so when you basically get on the web app, you sign. Uh, this is the one that you can click on. So this one is going to download the new Format Connect add-ins for all the software. So if you have Revit, Navisworks, uh, AutoCAD, Architecture, MEP, Civil 3D, Plan 3D, Tecla, and more. So in most of the Autodesk product is going to work for this. So you can just basically come here and then you click on this. It's going to tell you, take you back to the actual site and you basically just download it for anything that you want right here you can see it's a bunch and bunch and bunch of uh, software verity um, a dynamo like everything that you can be um, kind of and it's you can hit that and this is like a Seymour you can kind of install everything even on power bi and much more right here so let me just go down pro core yeah you can you can see some uh, software over here that you'll be able to add to it um, and then I don't know if you want just search for the let's we just for, for Navisworks uh, this is the one for the Navisworks manage you basically they have a project center and you have the connect so this is the one that we're talking about we're talking about a new format connect uh, for our project so you can basically come over here and download it uh, the next one that I want to kind of go through over here is going to be the project and my uh, profile under my profile, um, you can see their notification settings. Um, so uh, there is going to be a bunch and bunch of settings that you can uh, set and basically see how you want to get the notification uh, when you're using. So this is all the basically starting with the project involvement, like when I'm added or removed from the project. Uh, so if somebody added you or removing you from the project, you get a notification. So if it's in the app or it's even uh, via the email for the issue. So if their issue is assigned to you, uh, if you are an author or assigned to an issue or in a notification list. So when you assign the issue, you can assign it to a person and you can notify a group or a team. So anything happen, you can get those notification. If you want to get it daily, you can also have it weekly immediately right away. So you can kind of select here if you want to get stuff weekly, not get, it, get bombarded with a bunch of emails. There is a place that you can come and turn stuff on and off, not getting like a bunch of emails. And when I'm assigned to an issue, so immediately, or you can be again daily, weekly. So I'll recommend put this one on immediately. So as soon as you're assigned the issue, you'll be able to understand when I'm added to or removed from an issue notification list. So you'll be uh, basically notified. Attachment is added to an issue. If anybody added drawing, at a snapshot, um, at any type of attachment to that issue, you'll be able uh, to see it right away and notify. Uh, when comment is added, if if you assign it to a person asking a question waiting to get a response back when the person use the at sign and then type your name it basically you uh, receive a notification and then even uh, for the project deadline so you basically you can uh, do this project deadline uh, that if you getting close to the deadline to address that issue you'll be able to get emails and get notified so there is a basically a notification center that you can go when you have access to the uh, web app that you'll be able to turn stuff on and off and basically see how many emails you want to get per day or how you want to be notified uh, when you are uh, on a job. You know, if you are a detailer working on the project on a daily basis, probably you should be getting these settings on the daily and immediately. But if you just a supervisor want to know what's going on here and there, you can do it on weekly and you can get a summary of, you know, what happened in the project and how everything is uh, moving forward. So the next tab under the general menu was projects. So when you uh, go to the project and hit create a project, it's, uh, the window, this window is going to get opened up. So right here, or right now, we want to create a project together and kind of work together to see how it goes. So the first one will just put like a test project. 
you can name your project whatever is over there if you have a project number or internal number for this job you can kind of put your number over here if you have a nice rendering or a picture of the navis model that you have the 3d model or any other rendering on the drawing you can upload that image over here uh, this is going to be the template. So New Forma Connect has some template already, but if your team or your company already have standards, uh, you'll be able to upload those templates so you can use the same template. And we're going to talk about template and uh, future videos. So that's going to basically mostly talking about uh, the settings of exactly what you want to see, how you want to address it, how do you want to communicate, the duration of the issues that needs to be responded, who needs to be notified, what are the phases, the type of issues, and, and much more. So when you create that template, this is the area that you want to go so you don't have to set that setting in every single project that you create. You can set your template once and update that template here when you create a project. So you have a start date here. And basically, you can have the end date for your project. So you'll be able to kind of set any of those dates. And then after that, you have the project access. So this is going to be only users who are added to the project, which is going to be your team, or you have uh, basically just a limited. So this is this is the basically the two access uh, that you'll be able to um, set here so right here let's just do you know like 219 um until um, you know like let's say for the next year some time right let's just do this and then we can do private and then we hit create and the last step for our introduction to know for mock connect or bim try used to be called if you recall we added our um uh, to navis work uh, as a plugin so as soon as uh, the installation is done the tab is going to show up over here um, you can go to the ribbon all the way down new format connect so it basically has your uh, new format connect uh, we're going to go through how to create the clashes and also in order to uh, work this out you need to kind of sign in uh, with your uh, credential that you have so i'm going to sign in here and you can see basically the setting is going to start uh, to work so let's just uh, start to sign in is going to take you back to the web app so because i'm already signed in so i just basically as soon as i click on it when you put your initial is basically put everything back uh, for you so uh, i'm connected right now i can go back to uh, my project so you can see uh, this is your pro uh, this is the box that you have that you can uh, lo uh, basically dock it. You can put it over here, bottom, anywhere you want. Let's just leave it here in the middle for now. Uh, so uh, right here, you select your hub and here you select your project. So if you have a different hub for different companies, so you, you see like a bunch of hubs over here. Uh, and then also this is gonna be the, the project. So you select your hub, you select your project, and it, when you start creating the issues, everything it shows up over here. They have uh, different different type of uh, localized issues that we're gonna get to all of those type of clashes and whatnot, and it's gonna be the settings. And uh, anytime you wanna log out, you just basically click on this and it goes away. But for now, if you wanna get this and get it started, uh, we you select your hub and you basically you select your project. So I did select my hub and the project, and right now you can see I'm in. Like everything is set right now to create the issue, start communication with the team. There's a few tab over there. As soon as you log in and then you select your hub and project, you'll be able to see the clashes that is gonna help you group the clashes and then also send all the clashes to the issue so you can assign it to the trade partners. Uh, you can sync the clash status. That means uh, there is a communication between the software, the plugin, and the Navis. So uh, you send the clashes uh, from Navis 
uh, to BIM track and also everything is going to get updated and get resolved those is going to send back to Navis so anything that get resolved is going to be closed out automatically uh, this one if you create a bunch of clashes is basically you just show a, a point where those are is going to uh, create we, we create later on you guys can see how it's going to view and this is going to be the settings that we're going to go through all of these in future videos so hope you guys enjoyed uh, this new software I would recommend looking into it I want to go through it step by step and get you guys familiarized with exactly what it is how it's gonna be used how it's gonna help the project but if everybody on a project is uh, committed uh, to do a great collaboration and coordination this is a very very good tool um, to get to so hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the content please uh, uh, make sure to uh, leave a like and I would love to hear your feedback. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.